one of the biggest issues that we run into on these sets is power distribution. So we have these two great 300Ds and we're probably gonna use it as a key and a rim light. Our actor is gonna come out through the RV. So we need something to light up the interior. We didn't go V mount on these. Instead, we went with one of these massive power banks. So our issue is how do we connect the light in there out here when it needs to be close enough to these. So that's where this comes in. I bought this. It's a Gina Ray Light Beast, and I purposely got it to have remote power. So it can take a V-mount by itself. And the V-mount brick I'll be using is from Wimaxit. So they gave me this battery because I told them I need to solve this problem where I need to have remote power. Gaming. All right, turn it on. Rolling. A little bit of context on this production. It is a series of commercials for the end client. Now, typically, I don't work in commercial. I am more in the corporate interview or very small documentary crew space. So this is really nice being able to work on each image since it has such a, a bigger value and you know the easiest way to to do that is by shaping your lighting so we're trying different things some might say that that neg on the left is doing nothing and i might agree with you but that's just what we put up with the time that we had and the image came out pretty good we're cutting off all the lights in between uh shooting because that just, even if you have remote battery power like it, it just goes so fast the uh that big power bank that we had right there is already at 50% and we're not 50% done with production. So good thing the Wamaxa battery is here. I wish they had given me three more. I asked for three in total, but they said you get one. So um, it's doing its job and uh, it's nice because it's, it's such a lower price than the other core SWX batteries that I have in my camera bag. Those are way too expensive and these can just charge with USB-C, then that makes it easier on production instead of you know, burning through all these big batteries or trying to find outlets or turning on the generator in the RV. Down to 30%. As I take these little steps forward in my career, I'm learning how to use these tools, which ones to use, what's the right time and place to use it. And I think that's actually more valuable is making the decision in the moment when you're on set. I'm gonna use this tool, not because I like it, but because I'll be able to get it up fastest. Maybe I can carry this light over my head faster than I can use a different type of light. And those decisions are proving much more valuable to the entire job. People don't know uh, that I'm making them, but in my head, I'm thinking this is the best choice for what we are doing right now. Could another option work? Absolutely. Is this the most efficient choice? Maybe. So I'm going to lean on this side and see how it works. And then, like I said before, the USB-C charging is just really nice. Okay, so for this shot, we're going to have our talent come here and we're going to shoot over the shoulder of the clerk. It's not very well lit in here, which is actually nice because the only warm fixture is this one. So we're going to cut that off and we're gonna boom over a china ball, like a lantern and light down. And then he's gonna take that light out there and we're gonna shoot through. And uh, we, sh <clears throat> we should be pretty good with that. We will be shooting on the shadow side. My director needs to see the picture and I'm gonna be tucked in behind here. So I'm just gonna give him his own monitor right here. So we got our light up. We have our 300 punching through. We have this for uh, kind of ambient fill. And then we decided to keep this door open so that we could use my panel light in here and just create more depth, another layer all the way through. Now I think I just really need help working on my ratios and that window light looks a little hot so i'm just trying to figure out balancing and you know being on set working through these is probably the best way for me to get through that 
sun is dropping and I was told we're going to be doing handhelds and sticks. So I brought the uh, VCT plate, going to throw it on the shoulder and just have options. Shoot some shots right now. I was clicking that thing on in there. Better watch this mouth right here. Oh. Just a button. Just a button. Just a button. Lock it in with your nuts. I have a feeling we might need this light outside. So let's see how much battery we got. Uh, 67%. You can't see it on the. There you go, 67%. It's not bad. Uh, let it charge for like an hour or so. So, a little extra juice is good. They said we could have free range just picking all the strawberries we want. So we got video going. He's doing photo. Jake has the drone in the air. Oh, really low to the ground. Oh, get a foreground shot. I see what he's doing. All right, next scene. Something about a drink getting poured. So I'm not sure if we're going behind or off an angle or over the shoulder on each side. But I know we have limited time because the sun is dropping. It's a lot darker here. It looks about. Let me darken it. That. It, wow. Dang it. Hold on. One more. Okay. This is about how dark it is in actuality. Jake. Jake, you got your shot or no? No, no, no. I don't need to get that shot. Just when she comes around, I need you to just take a step back. Now this isn't an RGB light, so there's no fire effect, but it is by color. So if we change the Kelvin temp, um, we can at least give some like motivation to this this warm light light acting as if it's fireplace light. One more cheers while you look at each other. I really like my new shoulder rig. It's not as comfortable as I'd prefer it to be, but maybe that's just how shoulder rigs are. It's also not as stable. And that's a question that I get a lot is with your 24 to 70 Mark II that doesn't have OSS or any type of stabilization inside the lens, how do you compensate for that? And that is literally what the purpose of the shoulder rig is for, is to, to stabilize it. So um, could it be more stable? Yes. Am I trying to train my shoulder to be <laughs> very stable? Also, yes. Uh, and that gimbal that he's using, that will be the extremely stable glidey shot. Okay, our fire scene just died because this died. So it lasts about an hour uh, on a full charge. And uh, they're cheap enough where you could, they're 99 bucks. So my other batteries cost 250 each. So this is not a bad deal if you just need just raw power for whatever. This battery is new to me. I'm stoked when Max it gave it to me. If I was a better YouTuber, I'd have an affiliate link, but I just have a regular link to buy it in the description or in the comments, either one. And my thoughts are going to keep evolving. Just like I got my cart in the last vlog, that was a huge, huge change. So this production is going to keep going and I'll have more vlogs. Y'all can check it out if you want.